We're here at Lake and Trail today, and it's getting to be that time of year when the lakes up around Palm Bay area, you know, Headwaters, Stick Marsh, Garcia, those lakes are really gonna start firing up when these fish start moving into that pre-spawn, you know, in that, in that November, that December time range. And some of the places that you wanna look at up there are just any of these places where there's some flats that are off some of the deeper water areas. So any of these deeper areas here, any of these ditches, any of this, any of these little flats that are off the sides of any of these ditches, like this ditch 13, any of these flats, they're about four, five, six feet deep. That's gonna be the areas where you wanna start looking for these fish to start moving up and moving into those areas where they're gonna be in the heaviest cover they can find just adjacent to where they're gonna spawn. So, you know, this summer, they were all in those little bit deeper areas. They're in a lot of those canals where there's a little bit of wind generated current, a little bit deeper water, a little more comfortable for them in the summertime. Well, they're just gonna start moving up to the shallower stuff, up to that four or five foot, but they're gonna be in heavy cover or on the edges of really heavy cover. Those are the areas that you're gonna wanna look at this winter when you go up there early in the morning. Top water, spinner baits are really good. I really like some of the nickel spinner baits for doing that. Swim jigs can be pretty good. And it is really, really hard to beat some of the bait fuel stuff like the dagger punching in some of the heavier mats. When the sun gets a lot higher, you wanna to go to the Mega Bopper is one of my very favorites, real lightweight. Throw it out there, let it sink down a little bit and the more open holes around the really thick grass, reel it kind of slow and let it flutter through the edge of that, catch some really big bass up there at Headwaters and Stick Marsh.